Hey, good morning, church family. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you on this Sunday, June 27th. I cannot believe how quickly this week has gone by, but I can't believe how quickly every week goes by. So anyway, we'll get all cleaned up and we'll get ready for church service. I've had just the last few days of just spending some extra time in prayer and extra time in the Word and uh, it's good. It's good when you just say, God, I just need more of you. Amen, church family. So our reading for today in our 555 was Luke chapter 1. And there's so much good stuff in there, but I love this. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail thou that are highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth the son, and you shall call his name Jesus. And he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Wow. What a God we serve, church family. What a God we serve. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. That's why we are looking up, because we are at warp speed, because our Savior is coming, because Scripture must be fulfilled. Today on our prayer, we're praying for Burundi, population of 12,200,000 people. But listen to this. Please pray for a Jacqueline. A a woman's husband is not a Christian. He has ordered her to abandon all church activities and threaten to force her from their home if she will not. Please pray that Jacqueline will be protected and that her husband will come to know the love of Jesus. My, oh my, we don't have a clue of what's going on in other parts of this world. You know, the Bible tells us to pray for those that are in chains, amen. We're not in chains yet in this country. So let's go ahead and pray for those that are in chains today. Let's pray for the martyrs, the ones that are in jails and prison, the persecuted church, the families of the martyrs. The martyrs are with him and they receive an extra crown, amen. Father, we come before you today on this Sunday and we do lift up our two services to you today, nine and 11. I pray for myself that the word of God will come forth clearly, Father, as we teach on the book of Esther, Lord, today, and Jesus being our Mordecai. I pray for the band and all the normal stuff of a a building, Lord, air condition, lighting, sound, the things that we need to make it operate. And we just thank you today for everything operating smoothly. We thank you most importantly, Father, for the church being built up people being born again, people being water baptized for your glory and honor, Father. Father, I thank you that we can lift up the prayer request of our church family, and we pray over these on this Sunday, Father. And we are thanking you for miracles, Father, miracles, Lord, lives being touched and changed, family members being born again, Lord. And I thank you, thank you for that, Father. Father, you that has begun the good work in us, that you will, you will bring it to completion, Lord. I thank you that you said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Father, as we read this prayer request of this lady called Jacqueline, Lord, we think of those in Muslim nation, Hindu nations, Lord, and and, uh, nations like that, Father, that, that... that don't give freedom of religion, don't give the women their right place. Father, you said there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither free nor uh, uh, slave nor free, there is neither, neither male nor female. We are one in you, Lord, and I thank you for that. I thank you, Father, for the praying women that, I, that are with me today, Lord, that they're gonna be eternally rewarded for that, Father. So we pray for this woman and we pray for the persecuted church today. 
You told us to not forget those that are in chains, and it can be so easy with all the food and all the luxury and our beautiful homes and cars and on and on, Lord. We pray, Father, we pray for this, for them. Oh, Father, we lift up our nation before you. And we see, Father, a hurting nation, a nation that's divided, not united, Lord. And we pray over this nation. We pray for the political realm of our nation, from the executive office right down to local counselors and on, Lord. And we pray that the scales would come off their eyes and salvation would come into their heart and that they would do the right thing for the people, Lord. We pray the same over our world. We lift up Israel before you. We pray for our world today. From north, south, east, and west, we lift up presidents. We lift up kings. We lift up prime ministers and all those that are in authority, Lord. And I thank you, Father, for moving upon them. We pray for the children of Ishmael, Lord. We pray for the Muslim people. We pray, Almighty God, that great visions and dreams and angelic visitations can reach out to them in a mighty way. Lord, as we are approaching closer and closer to the return, your return, we know, Father, that it's going to get a little tougher down here. So we pray as we're reading the word, 555, as we're praying daily, 555. We thank you, Father, that we are growing, maturing. And Lord, though the mountains be shaken and the, the, the mountains be removed, Lord, that you would be with us. We continue to pray for those in Florida and this horrendous disaster of this hotel, Lord, that caved in. If there are still some alive, help them, Lord. I can't imagine being under rubble like that for days now. Give the governor there, DeSantis, and others the strength that they need to do what's right for the people there, Lord, in helping them during this hard time. We pray for the family members who are in such hurt right now, and we pray for them also. We lift up all these other prayer needs before you, Father. And again, we lift up our church service and every church service that's going on today. And we pray these and so much more in Jesus' name. And again, I pray for those that are with me today, for your blessing upon them as we anticipate the soon return of our King. The King is coming. The King is coming. Amen, church family. See you in a little bit. God bless.